G'day Ziggy D here with another Path of Exile gearing guide. As you can see I'm here in another scenic location in Cyan and in this particular video I'm going to talk about helmets. So helmets are pretty basic as well. I would say that they're actually more basic than boots because you don't have the move speed sort of thing to worry about. Uh, the only time that you really have a, a major decision when it comes to uh, helmets is when you're trying to make a specific build that needs intelligence or when you're trying to make a summoner build basically because helmets are really the summoner and a line thing. It kind of makes sense, you know, you've got like an intelligence, uh, you know, caster that thinks about, you know, commanding their minions and stuff like that and the helmets are the the part that protects that and influences that in terms of mods. So let's just jump straight into uh, you know what actual mods you can get on your helmets. So you've got the pretty basic stats, you've got rarity, max life, max mana, your evasion energy shield armor plus percentage and stun addition rolls there. Uh, but then you also have um, physical damage return to attackers, so another thorn slot here for if you're making a thorns build. And then the one that I was sort of talking about with summoners, summoners is plus level of socketed minion gems. Now obviously this is very important if you are a summoner because uh, you know those that plus gem level can it can exceed level 20 and even as you're leveling it you know it bumps up your minion levels by two and that you know increases your minions life and things like that it just makes them much more powerful all around and you know in a in a summoner build especially if you're making a pure summoner build it's all about the minions so having that you know that one stat that can really increase the power of your minions by quite a lot is very important so that's uh the you know the only really major stat on helmets to think about uh, in terms of suffixes you've got Accuracy rating, which is interesting. It's sort of a separate one for helmets. Uh, I guess, you know, you, you're protecting your eyes a bit as well, and your eyes are responsible for accuracy. Kind of makes sense from a law perspective, so that's pretty cool. Uh, now, you also have dex, int, and strength, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, any helmet type can roll intelligence. So if you're like a strength-based build, you know, you're wearing armor like I am here, or armor evasion rating gear like I am here, and say I need extra extra intelligence to run a certain skill, like I want to... I want to level up in Feeble a fair bit more and I need that intelligence and I can't get it in my passives then you can roll intelligence on your helmets even if you're wearing an armor evasion helmet like this. So that's like an important thing to sort of note uh, you know about those off, off class, off uh, armor type uh, stats that you can roll because it can really help in fine tuning your build and being able to equip the gear and you know the, the skills that you want to equip. Uh, you also have your all of your basic resists you have item quantity, item rarity, life regen, and stun recovery. So all the pretty basic stuff there. So now let's talk about uh, what makes a what's a good magic helmet basically. So let's start off by talking about what makes a good magic helmet for a summoner because as I said, there's sort of the two categories of helmets here: summoners and everyone else. So the summoner is a uh, for your prefix you want either plus gem to minions, so plus level of gem to minions, or life. Uh, I would say if you're, you know, if you're playing a summoner that's in the fray a little bit more, then you probably want to opt for that life. Otherwise, if you're playing a pure summoner, the plus gym to minions and losing out a bit of life is not really a big deal. Realm is restarting soon. We'll have to be quick. Uh, as in terms of your suffixes, you want your, you know, you want your resist basically. Uh, also, as a prefix, you could probably also, uh, you know settle for rolling evasion energy shield armor because it can still be a nice increase but it's nothing as major as a chest. Now in terms of normal helmets for non-summoners you want your life, you want your evasion energy shield armor and then for your suffix you want your resist. So pretty basic stuff. Now let's talk about a good rare. For a summoner you want your plus gems, your plus life and then your evasion energy shield armor as your prefix. However you can also roll a pretty good mana stat on a helmet so if you are a pure summoner then maybe uh, plus minion gems and mana could be a nice combination. It really depends on how much mana you need. I find not too many summoner builds struggle with mana and they usually have other ways of dealing with that but it's something to note that you can get your mana on your helmet and that can be okay. Uh, in terms of your suffix you want resists and possibly intelligence if you need it. Uh, as in terms of a good rare, I'm actually showing one here. This is a fairly solid rare for, you know, only a full mod rare. It's got your armor, your life, your cult, and two resists, basically. One of the resist rolls is a bit low, but, you know, you kind of you kind of have to take that when I've rolled what is essentially a very good life roll there, and a decent armor roll. So, as you can see, that's only the flat armor increase, uh, not a percentage armor increase, and yet it's still pretty much doubled the helmet. The helmet had a base of 120, and, you know, an extra 80 takes it to 200, almost doubling, so... It's a, still a very nice increase in terms of defense. However, it's not the combined one as well, so it's not armor and uh, evasion, which would, you know, that would be a better increase since I'm using iron reflexes. But anyway, uh, what makes, you know, your ideal rare? Well, you've got your life, 
evasion energy shield armor and then an evasion energy shield armor percent roll so multiplying those again together just like with the chest pretty basic stuff really uh, for all normal classes it's basically just a, a normal armor slot you know getting your defenses and then of course for suffixes you want your tri trifecta resist always getting your resists uh, otherwise you know regen uh, I've had someone mention in the comments regen and I don't think the regen mods on armor are very good you can get enough regen just through a percent passive uh, passive if you have a lot of life since that scales off your life and I find you know you can easily have you know 50 plus regen per second just from a couple percent and you know with a reasonable amount of life but if you're going for a build that you know needs a lot of regen then of course you could get a little bit of regen on each of one of your armor pieces and it will add up but overall it's really not that much so I, I like to stick to those resists so I can not have to worry about those on the passive tree anyway hopefully this has been helpful I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching